This video is going to be on adjustment of the tubing system that feeds to the dampers of the UV printer we have. You see here that this tube is too short, which results in the damper not seating over the post of the head correctly. This causes air to seep into the connection and then the ink's going to flow right back to the bag because there's not a tight seal. So in order to correct that, what we're going to first do is make sure we have the printer power unplugged, the USB cable unplugged. I've already removed the print cover so it'll give us uh, better access to the uh, ink feeding tubes. <clears throat> so what I'm going to first do is I'm going to go from the side here. You see here how much slack there is? There's a lot of slack here so I'm going to slowly feed the tubes through here. Be careful not to touch any of the lines and you see how they're actually feeding right at the top here. That's what we want to do. Maybe I give it about half an inch or an inch, just enough so that we can start to loosen up the two screws that are holding the mounting bracket that lines these tubes up in place. So you see I'm loosening them up again and loosening it. I don't entirely remove it, but once it's loose enough, then that's when you can pull through some more slack, which you see I'm doing right now. Um, <clears throat> another tip and this is also equally important is that you do not want to pull too much slack through just like that the reason for that is because the case once it's back on the cover if you see the case hitting the tubing system it's going to wear this down until the point where this will start leaking and have a crack in it which is not a good good thing of course so just enough so that the case does not hit it so there's a sweet spot where all the dampers seat correctly in place. You see that one's not seated. So you want to make sure they're all equally seated into place. And that looks pretty good. So now what do I do? Let's screw down the mounting <coughs> bracket. And you're, you're probably wondering why mine is held into place fairly securely. What we have underneath here is a non-slip um, uh, non-slip pad which helps prevent the moving of the tubes if you do not have this we can provide this for you um, at all, no additional charge of course uh, you can use anything that's non-slip as well you can even use paper towels just enough so that there's no movement here on the tubing system pretty much so once that's complete of course slowly feed the tubes back so that it doesn't hit the printer frame even pull slightly on the opposite end just like so and there you go that's the whole video of adjustment of the feeding tubes